Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on this Triumph Street Twin. Um, it's my mum's bike and we're going to go about lowering this today. So we've got some new shocks to fit on it. We're going to drop the rear end and the front end and just try and lower this bike so it's a bit more usable. But first things first, I want to take a quick look around these shocks and give you some close-ups so, so you can see what they're like. Um, we ordered these from Hagen Shocks. Um, really good company. They weren't awful in terms of price. They're £180 for a set and they are set up to the rider weight and with the max lowering. So we're going for a 30mm lower on this bike. So we are lowering this bike purely because my mum is tiny and cannot touch the floor. So lowering this bike will just make it easier to ride. Um, we looked at other things but shocks and lowering the front forks seems to be the most cost efficient way to do it nicely and keep it riding well. So time to get into the actual doing of this and start working on it. Um, with these rear shocks the first thing you've got to do is remove the rear tailpipes on this standard street twin exhaust setup. So it's a few bolts um, onto the rear foot peg hanger and a clamp on the bottom and they slide off nice and easy and then next up you want to loosen your shock bolts so the shock actually sits on two sort of pins so you can take these fully out and the shock will stay in place so it's no issue but take all the bolts off so you've got good access and then you come to this bit so this is the part where a proper stand would help we did this with a very cheap bicycle lift bicycle lift motorcycle lift and we just lifted the frame into the air the reason you need to do this is to allow the whole rear end to be floating essentially because obviously when those shocks come off the whole rear end is going to collapse and you can't do it one side at a time because they're different shock lamps so this was a bit of a pig to be honest um, there's probably easier ways to do it and if you've ever got a better workshop you'd be fine but this proves that it can be done so with the bike in the air, we now move over to the other side and do exactly the same thing. The tailpipes are symmetrical, so the two bolts, the one on the foot hanger and the lower one, that slides off and then once again we can loosen the shocks and remove this side. Right. Now that the bike's in the air and all bolts are off, we can slide off these shocks. They're on rubber bushings on a metal pin as mentioned, so they need a little wiggle, but they do slide off relatively easy. With those off, literally what comes off, new set on, you can see the difference in length. You've got to lift that rear wheel to slide that shock on. Um, they were a bit tight going on, and I ended up spraying a bit of silicon spray just to allow the bushing to slide on nicely. But as simple as that, we get both sides on and it takes shape and you can kind of get an idea of where that rear wheel is going to sit all fitted. Bolts go back on exactly the same for now we're just going to nip these up and then right at the end I'll go back and talk everything down so I know exactly what it's like. And it is time for the moment of truth. Oh my god! It makes a big difference as you can hear um, having the bike a little bit lower for anyone that rides bikes, being confident and being able to put your feet down makes a huge difference. So that is a win straight off the bat. With that, all good. We move on to the front and we start by backing off all the pinch bolts. So I think there's about six pinch bolts. Oh, sorry, four main pinch bolts. And then you've got to loosen your indicators as well. But these are 8mm Allens. They're dead tight, so get a good set on it and back them off. Can't really do... Really with these bolts no, backed off move. I decided the best thing to do was get some on the bike and then rock them forward back and forward and you can see I'm tapping it just to help the stanchion slide inside the triple clamp it's a really tight fit so you can just wobble it down and simply doing this gave us that 10 mil 15 mil we were looking for you can't get exactly the same lower as you did in the rear but it's still a massive improvement With the final position happy, we're all we all think that's good. We've had another test fit. We go back round now and do the reverse. So you tighten these up. As you can see, it takes quite a while. They're long bolts, and you want to make sure these are absolutely 
dead tight. We don't want these slipping or the stanchion or forks moving at all when this bike is going down the road. So plenty of checks here and as mentioned with the shocks, we'll go back and tighten these at the end. So this is the first look at the bike in its final sitting position. You can see we've got that extra bit of stanchion at the top, but nothing too major. It all looks okay. And then the shocks fitted at the rear. A few things I wanted to cover, which were originally we chopped an inch off the seat, so we'd had the foam removed to make it lower. And secondly, these shocks are confirmed to have the bump stop set so the tyre does not hit. This was confirmed by Hagen shocks, which was really good and just a nice peace of mind knowing that it will fit properly. And then the final check is just to check the seat height, and we actually did save 30mm off the seat height. So we went from 730 to 700 which is extremely low and just what you want. So with all that done, the exhaust is staying off as a new one is going on, and we pack the tools away, and that is a good job done. That, guys, is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I know it's slightly different from the usual content, but I thought it was a cool job and something that's hopefully applicable to a lot of people out there. Um, for those shorter riders or someone just looking to modify your bike, whether that's a normal bike or a Triumph, hopefully this video helps you out. But once again, hope you enjoyed it and until the next time, take it easy and I'll see you then.